And unless our leaders begin to make better decisions, we'll continue, continue to suffer from low wage jobs, declining education, increased cancer and asthma, and the desecration of our land, water, and air from oil and gas fracking operations. Um, my background is in environmental studies and I have a PhD and I, I did my research work on non-timber forest products so I know how valuable forests are, not just for a, an economic value for things like ginseng, but just to recreate in for our kids to grow up in and, and to absorb carbon from the atmosphere and thinking about doing this industrial process next door or even underneath of them or on top of them, anywhere close to them is ridiculous. Fracking in general is ridiculous. Fracking doesn't sound safe, does it? No! It sounds accident prone. And that's terrifying, my friends, because the gas and oil life cycle is rife with dangerous materials, radioactive waste, radioactive air particulates, cancer-causing chemicals, and much more. How can this commission even consider, for one second, putting our parks and children at risk? Here's another question. How have the commissioners prepared to make their decisions today? Have they received, have they rather reviewed primary sources and scientific research or merely considered and consulted with oil and gas reps like Rob Brundrett? Commissioners, you have the authority to deny. House Bill 133 was passed in 2011 against the will of the people a gerrymandered state legislature, many people who are no longer in the state legislature, passed this bill stating that it was the policy of the state to promote the exploration for and development of production of oil and gas and natural resources. Save our water! Save our water! Save our water!